What is up guys, JJ Andrew from Droid Syndicate, bringing you a video on how to install the AOKP Milestone 5 unofficial ROM for your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So go ahead and go to the two links, um, actually there will only be one link to this page in the description, but go ahead and click on that link to the ROM thread. This is going to bring you to the, um, basically, XDA developers, and it's going to show you guys, um, uh, sort of a change log, I guess, and what it's about. So the known bugs um, is problems with Google Wallet. So the only problems you're going to have is with Google Wallet. And for our first time install, um, that's what we're going to be doing today. The first time install. Upgrading from a previous AOK build, you can go ahead and follow that. And if you don't know, then you can watch my update CM9 video. That will help. So go ahead and um, click on that link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page. Go ahead and download these two files. These two files down here that says to download them. Go ahead and put them on your Sprint Galaxy Nexus's internal storage. So go ahead and um, download those two files and move them to the internal storage of your Galaxy Nexus. Okay, so now that those files are on our Galaxy Nexus, go ahead and unlock your device. We're going to want to go ahead and power off. And once our phone is powered off, we're actually going to boot into our custom recovery. And our custom recovery is basically where we're going to install the ROM itself in those Google apps. So go ahead and once your phone is powered off, go ahead and hold up and down on the volume locker while holding your power button. That's going to boot us into fast boot. Go ahead and press up twice or down twice your pick. Go ahead and hit power. That's going to boot us into recovery mode. And basically in recovery mode, we're going to go ahead and um, install the ROM and the Google Apps. But before we install those two dot zips, we actually have to wipe our data. Now before we wipe our data, I do recommend making a backup. A backup is going to save everything. Um, but remember, when you do wipe your data, it's not going to delete the files from the internal storage. It's just going to delete the system and the cache. So go ahead and make a backup if you desire, but remember, your photos and music is still going to stay there. You don't got to worry about that. So go ahead and go to Wipe Data Factory Reset if you have or have not made your backup. Your pick, whether you want to make one, I highly do recommend one. But yeah, go ahead and wipe your data. It's going to do a factory reset, but it's not going to wipe all your um, all your special, uh, you know, uh, like music and pictures and stuff. That's that's still going to be there. You don't have to worry about that. So once that our data wipe is complete, go ahead and scroll down to wipe cache partition. If you're stuck and you're wondering how to flip through those different selections, use your volume rocker up and down to switch through and use your power button to select. So now that our cache is all wiped, go ahead and scroll down to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Yes, wipe Dalvik cache. Now that we have wiped all of those, go ahead and go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, go to wherever you put those files that I told you to download and put on your internal SD card and go ahead and find the file. So here it is, AOKP Toro M5, standing for Milestone 5. Go ahead and click that, and install AOKP Milestone 5. That's basically going to install um, the ROM itself. That's going to install all that good mods and customization options that we have with AOKP. Now, um, this install might take a little bit for you, it looks like it's going to take about about a minute. It doesn't take too long, but yeah, I'll be back with you guys once my ROM is installed. Okay, so now that our ROM install is complete, go ahead and go to wherever you put those Google Apps. Um, it's going to be labeled G Apps, standing for those Google Apps. So go ahead and go to Install Zip from SD Card, choose Zip from SD Card, mine was in my download folder, and at the ending, the number code is 422. So go ahead and install gapps ics ending with 422 signed zip. 
that's basically going to install Gmail, the Google Play Store, um, any other Google app you can think of, YouTube, it's going to install um, all those files. So I'll be back with you guys once my Google app install is complete. Okay, as you can see, our Google app install is complete. Hit go back and reboot system now. That's going to reboot the system and it's basically going to give us the nice AOKP milestone 5 ROM goodness. So the boot animation is actually pretty sweet. If you want to watch, you can go ahead. But that is pretty much it on how to install AOKP milestone 5 for your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So if you have the time, go ahead and click subscribe up there. If you like this video, go ahead and um, rate the video, give it a rating. I really do appreciate you guys thumbing up the video. It gives me feedback and it sort of powers me on to make more videos and actually better quality for you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description for a review video. And if you haven't already, I truly, truly would like you to subscribe. Um, supporting me always um, supports my mind, and my mind always supports um, what I bring out to you guys. So yeah guys, once again, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for my review video, should be in the description later. So yeah, thanks for watching for the third time now, <laughs> sorry, i like to thank you guys, and yeah, I'll see you all later.